Before today's video starts, I want to give a shout out to all people subscribed to my channel. We just passed 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. The road to 20k starts right now. I'd like to sincerely thank each and every one of you. Thank you. Here we have one of the most inexpensive 3D printers on the market right now called the Acrylic 3DC Star, currently at $160, not including shipping, which can be quite expensive depending on where you live. Make sure to check out the microSD card because it does contain instructions of how to assemble the printer, how to level the heated bed and settings to improve the printing quality. All components arrived undamaged one week after placing the order from Gearbest. Included is everything you need in order to assemble the 3D printer, even the necessary tools. However, it does not come with filament, so you will have to buy that separately. I like how the extruder came pre-built and with an integrated nozzle for the fan. Overall, it feels like a solid construction. I decided to remove the protective paper from the acrylic parts because I think it looks a little bit more professional. Even
What you see me do now is leveling the heated bed, which is one of the most important steps to improve the printing quality. This is what it should look like, no more than a piece of paper fits between the bed and the nozzle. The 3D Benchy from Thingiverse is considered to be a benchmark for testing the printing quality. Faults with the printing settings will appear very clearly making it a lot easier to understand what settings you will have to change in order to improve the overall quality. Insert the micro SD card to the mud board of the printer and browse through the settings and click 3D Benchy. The bed and extruder will now heat up and then start printing. I'm happy to see how well the printer performed. It's not perfect, we have some stringing going on horizontally which uh, suggests we need to increase the retraction distance. We might also have too high of a temperature, but overall it's a very impressive printer, very affordable and perfect for someone who's looking into 3D printing. I know there will be a lot of comments asking if this one is better than the Anate 8, which one you should pick, so I thought I might answer that question right now. The two printers are basically the same, there really is no major difference between them. Ultimately, go with the least expensive one because the price can change quite a bit depending on what month it is. The Anit A8 is a safe bet, but the 3DC Star looks very promising. I haven't used it as much as the Anit A8, but in the end, both printers will perform great. Please consider subscribing for more videos. Have a nice day, bye.